Bill Schoenberg, Fast Pitch Power. Uh, I'm here to talk to you tonight about your glove hand, the rudder that steers your ship. This is a continuation of my previous posts where I talked about vertical stacking, perfect balance, and also the establishment and the maintenance of a runway or a throw zone directly to your target to give you the best chance to deliver the ball with maximum command and speed in the strike zone. So the rudder that steers your ship, what do I mean by that? Well, I don't know a heck of a lot about boating, but I know one thing for sure, that if your rudder on your boat is pointing in the wrong direction, you're going to hit something, but it's unlikely it's going to be what you're trying to hit. So we're going to try to establish our rudder in such a way that it enables us to command the strike zone with maximum power and command every single time we deliver a pitch. But let me show you what that means. I'm going to come off the pitching rubber. First, we're going to start sideways. And you're going to see what my glove hand does to establish my throw zone and maintain it. And you're also going to see how I'm going to be vertically stacked, eyebrows, shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles, all parallel to the ground and directly on top of each other every time I come off the pitching rubber. So here I am on the pitching rubber. My catcher is there. And I'm going to load. And I'm going to reach and track. And I'm going to come at my target. And you'll see that my glove hand is shoulder high and pointing directly at my catcher. Okay? My ball is on the power line. It never leaves it. And it's my glove hand that establishes my throw zone. Right down here, my body is the boundary. And that throw zone is pointing directly at my catcher because my glove is guiding me and leading me there. Okay? So now, I'm going to deliver my ball straight down that throw zone and to my target without my runway breaking down. I'm going to show you what that looks like coming directly at you. And this will be an even better visual for you because now it's as though you are my catcher. So as I come off the pitching rubber, watch what my glove hand does and how it establishes a throw, a throw zone, runway we call it, directly at you, my catcher. So I load, I reach and track, and here I am ready to deliver my ball in perfect balance, vertically stacked, glove hand is pointing at you, my catcher, and now all I need to do is to take my pitching hand and deliver it straight to my target. Every time this glove hand will enable me to maximize my power and command in the strike zone if I'm able to establish my glove hand and my torso and my track directly at my target. Now let me show you one of the common mistakes made by young pitchers. It happens a lot for many different reasons, but the primary reason is that their bodies are not conditioned enough, they don't have the core strength in order to maintain their track. It's a very difficult thing when you're trying to explode off the pitching rubber and, de and deliver the ball with maximum speed to the strike zone. Joe Bagnier is going to talk to you about the structural integrity of your body that will enable you to maintain that throw zone and use your rudder in the appropriate fashion. So let me show you coming directly at you what a young pitcher often will do to break the runway down. So I load, just like I did before, my reach may be fine, my track may be fine, but watch what happens when I go to deliver the ball. My glove hand drifts off to the left, because maybe I don't have the strength to keep it where I wanted it to go, and now look at my runway. My runway is now going this way, but my catcher is this way. So my brain is smart enough not to deliver the ball there, so I hit, uh, you know, the third baseman or the first baseman, depending upon whether I'm a righty or a lefty. But the only thing I can do from this position where I'm leaning forward, I am not in a power position, is to push the ball and guide it to home plate. That is not what a windmill pitcher wants to do. You want to establish the body posture that enables you to deliver the ball with maximum power every time. So let's take a look at that the right way first, and then the wrong way, common mistake, okay? So here I am, exploding off the pitching rubber. Load, reach and track. Now I'm coming straight at you. My runway's coming straight at you. 
I deliver the ball straight at you, and if I maintain that runway as I deliver the ball in that perfect upright posture, that ball's coming to my target, you, my catcher, with maximum power and command. Again, if I do it the wrong way, come forward, I go to deliver the ball, forward lean, glove hand goes to the left, runway breaks down, push the ball to the plate, lack of power, lack of command. Visit us often because we are going to be providing you with the absolute best information we can to make you the absolute best pitcher you can be. It was really good talking to you. I look forward to seeing you soon. Good night.